I'm here with uh, Ken Ostrich telling us a little bit about their new product they just launched. Um, yeah, we hey there, Brian. Uh, so, I'm Ken Ostrich, Kasak Corporation, and uh, what you're seeing here is a demonstration of what we call active power management. Uh, it's our approach to literally actively managing the power of servers in the data center. Uh, it's a policy-based approach, and we'll demonstrate to this to you in a minute. Um, independent of whatever hardware uh, you're using, any power controllers you're using, any software, uh, native or virtual, that you have on your servers. And we take a policy-based approach to looking at either servers that are sitting idle uh, during off-peak hours, or servers that are on, but perhaps during a power emergency, like a, a loss of electricity, and say you're on battery power. And uh, we'll then look at the policy, look at the time, look at the uh, events that might be happening, and determine what servers to gracefully shut down, regardless of the software. Is he both today? Uh, regardless of the software, and then gracefully shut the software down, uh, and then literally turn the server off, either with the uh, onboard power controller or an outboard uh, managed power distribution unit. Um, kind of sounds simple, but if you consider that any physical server, when it's sitting idle, uses probably 50 or 60 percent of its loaded power when it's just sitting there. So we thought we'd apply policy, we'd apply our knowledge of, of data center control and optimization. Um, to, uh, to schedule uh, or determine when servers can get power down. So, there you have it. Thanks. And I understand that uh, you can also do stuff with like PG&E oh, if yeah. they send out an alert. Yep, so we're working with local utilities and uh, power distribution companies. So here in Northern California, we have uh, Pacific Gas and Electric. And they have things called demand curtailment days, right, when power is at a premium. And they can send out a signal to their customers and say, we're going to charge you three times or six times uh, your electric rate because power is at a premium. Do something about it. And this software can listen to these demand curtailment events and then make policy-based decisions that, that the customer helps develop about, let's say, what non-essential equipment to gracefully shut down and then power off until you're through that power emergency and then bring that equipment back up. Um, and we go a little bit further and allow what we call self-administration. So. If it's a critical period for the company, for the customer, uh, you could certainly opt out certain machines or the entire enterprise from these emergency events. Uh, so we're trying to be user sensitive, but save a lot of power at the same time. Great. Well, thanks a lot, Ken. A pleasure as always.